Now to actually use the union circle, we're going to be a, what's called evaluating trig functions. So if you go to a calculator and type sine of pi over 6 and you're in radian mode, <coughs> this is what your calculator will spit out. It will go and think about the angle at pi over 6, and it will give back, since the question is sine, it will give back the y value. So I went to pi over 6, the y value is 1 half, so that's my answer. Same with cosine of pi over 6. I'm going to go to the unit circle, think of the same angle, but I give the x value. So this would be root 3 over 2. So this is what you'll be doing for radians and degrees. There are just a few tricks that we need to look at. Like for tangent, uh, tangent is not on the unit circle right away. It's hidden. This is something that you should remember, and this is important. Tangent of an angle is the same as sine of theta over cosine of theta. And it's also the same as the slope. So going back to the picture here, if I do sine over cosine, that's actually doing the rise divided by the run. And that would tell you the slope of the line that we're looking at right here. So. If you want to know the tangent of pi over 6, put the sine answer on top of the cosine answer and just simplify it. In this case, we would have 1 half all over root 3 over 2. Now, this is where you're going to be doing a lot of simplifying, flipping fractions. Here, we're going to keep the top. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal, the reciprocal of the bottom. So instead of dividing fractions, as long as there's a single fraction on top and bottom, you can multiply by the reciprocal. These will cancel. So really, it's just going to be 1 over root 3, but we need to rationalize that. So we're going to multiply by root 3 all over root 3 to get rid of our radical, our square root underneath. Okay, so that's how you do sine, cosine, and tangent. You're going to start to see things like secant of 240 degrees. Now remember that secant, cosecant, cotangent are the reciprocals of the other three. So when I see secant of 240, what I'm thinking is, all right, first of all, what is the cosine of 240? So let's go back to our unit circle. Let's go down to 240. 240, the cosine is negative 1 half. So cosine of, of 240 is negative 1 half. That means to give the answer of secant of 240, I would flip it upside down. Really, that's just negative 2. So another example here, let's say we did the cosecant of and cosecant of 225. Alright, the function that's paired with it is, so the function that's paired with cosecant is sine. We're going to first look at sine of 225 degrees. 225 is right here. The sine is negative root 2 over 2. So, to get the answer for cosecant, we have to write it as negative 2 over root 2. Now, this won't be that bad. We do have to rationalize it. So we'd have negative 2 root 2 all over 2 on the bottom. These 2's cancel. We end up with negative root 2 as our answer. <coughs> okay, some things to be aware of. Uh, there are some cases where you are going to get zero, or what's called undefined. So remember, when you have zero over something, that's just equals zero. When you take zero things and divide it, you still have zero things. But if you try to take something and divide by zero, this is called undefined. This is a no-no. This is what we couldn't do when we were looking at domain and range. You can't divide by zero. So for example, if we do tangent of 90 degrees, 
First of all, we have to think first, what is sine of 90 and what is cosine of 90? Sine of 90, if you look at the unit circle, 90 is right here, and so that's 1. But cosine, if you saw it, is also 0 there. If we try to make this as a fraction, we're going to get 1 over 0. Now that's, that's an issue. That, we would just say, is undefined. Okay, if we have cotangent of the same spot, it's a different story. Cotangent of 90 degrees <clears throat> is the reciprocal, the reciprocal of tangent. So it's the same as cosine of 90 all over sine of 90, which in this case it would be 0 over 1, which turns out to be 0. So this really does have an answer. So be careful that if you're dividing by 0, that actually, uh, that is called undefined. Another thing that you have to be careful about, some angles are not inside of the interval 0 to 360. So, for example, they might give you something like cosine of 930 or the sine of negative 405. The issue is that if you look for 930 on the unit circle, you're not going to find it. So what you need to do instead is take away 360s. The idea is that if you travel around the circle, you are at 360. And if you travel further than that, you're still going to be following the same circle. So you can take out 360s until the angle looks like it's less than 360. So like here, if we take away... 360, I get 570, I'm going to take away another 360. Okay, so really we're asking the question, what is the cosine of 210? What's that, what that's saying is that we, if we were to go to 930 degrees, we'd be traveling around the circle twice, and then landing actually at 210. Looking at my unit circle, 210, the cosine is root 3 over, over 2. Now the same with negative angles. Negative means that you would be traveling this way around the unit circle. But to make things easier, you can actually just add 360s to this. If I add 360, I'm down at negative 45. And now you could think of this as going down negative 45 degrees. Or if you want, you could just add another 360 and get 315. Looking at the unit circle, 315 is this point right here. So if we're doing sine of that angle, the sine value is negative root 2 over 2. Okay, one last thing. The same thing can happen to radians. So for example, Cosine of 9 pi over 2. Now, if you think of 9 halves, that's 4 and 1 half pi's. Remember that uh, 2 pi is equal to 1 circle. So the question is, in 4 and a half pi's, how many 2 pi's could I take away? Well, I could take away 2 circles. And if I do, that would be 4 pi you'd be left over with one half a pi left over. So before with degrees you were taking away 360, now you're going to be taking away 2 pi because 2 pi is a full circle in radians. So really this turns into cosine of pi over 2, which looking at this unit circle, cosine of pi over 2 is up here and it is the x value. It is 0.